Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark Spencer, and the person to my right needs no introduction, Steve Martin. How you doing? Good. I'm good. really good. Excited. Good. Very excited. So big new news about Final Cut Pro 10 and motion and compressor. Yes, we have and an update, 10.0.1. So 10.0.1, that it doesn't sound like a lot. It yeah. sounds like maybe a few bug fixes or something, right? Yeah, that, it seems like a, a dot release is typically what they call an incremental release. Uh -huh. But this is uh, far from incremental. It's actually quite substantial. So there's see. actually new features. Totally new features. In fact, the kinds of features that people have been barking about on the web. Why doesn't Final Cut 10 have this and this? Well, 10.0.1 addresses that. So it's starting to deliver on this, and within three months oh, oh, of the original. Oh, that's that's the big key. I mean, it's unprecedented that that, that an, uh, a software company uh, slash hardware company would release a major update to software like three three months right from the from the release of the product with some significant new features. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so, what are we going to look we're, at we're, today? What we're going to look at is a feature called Rolls. Okay. okay? Not Rolls R O L L S, but R O L E S. Rolls like like. I'm taking the role of, of, of presenter, and you're taking the role of host. host yes. All right. Yes. So what I want to do is back go 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 into Final Cut Pro Seven. Yeah, I was going to say I looked at this and was like, man, this looks like some old piece of software. I used to it use. is. It's, it's a track based paradigm. Oh, okay. There's tracks That's what's here. confusing me. Well, so the thing about tracks is why do why do you even need tracks? Well, a couple reasons. One, you need it for organizational purposes. A lot of people like to put dialogue on uh, top level tracks and uh, effects on another set of tracks and music on another set of tracks. DME, right? That we all learn to do that to organize your, all your audio by tracks. Absolutely. Yeah. How could you possibly do it any other way? Well, that's just it. You, you, <laughs> you can. You can. Okay. But, well, let me show you the pro. What I can, what I perceive, and uh, that that's the problem with tracks is that when you need to get these out as separate. Uh, entities or what we call stems, there's a lot of work involved. And here's what I mean. Here I have this music right here and it's on the wrong track. If I wanted to export this music out, maybe this has to be exported out as a separate track because it's domestic release versus international. Right. It needs to be separate. So and of course I'd want to move it on the right track. And then oh, th these effects over here, uh, maybe this is an effect over here that needs to be moved down. It's in. The, it's on the wrong one. So you're spending you're spending a, a quite a bit of time trying to figure out what tracks these go on so that you can properly output them. Okay. Right. So you need to organize them exactly right, and then sort of disable the and right then you tracks, disable, enable right. the right tracks. So you okay. say, I want to export just the music. So then you option click, you just turn these off. Solo those. Right. So right. there. Can you imagine how clicking I got to do the music, and then I got to go up here and say I, I got can do more than imagine it. This is I'm used to doing this. Well, yeah. Yeah. And then you could be wrong. It, it, it inherently um, it, well it introduces the possibility of mistakes. Right. Okay. So. Just that's a by way of introduction. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and quick Final Cut Pro 7 because you can't run Final Cut 10 and 7 simultaneously. So now I'm going to go ahead and launch Final Cut 10 to see you how this is handled now okay. with the new roles okay. paradigm. And and not just for audio, right? Because you, you looked at track, you're using tracks over in Final Cut 7 on video, right? For compositing Correct. things together. Right, you can, but of course in Final Cut 10 you're not you, you're not using tracks. You're using connected right. clips. So let me show you this new thing called roles. Um, I'm inside Final Cut Pro 10, and to look at the roles of these um, these various clips play, uh, I'm going to click this little button here called a timeline index. Okay, and this is a new. You have a new button here called roles. Okay, okay. so okay. I'm used to in, in earlier versions of Final Cut Pro 10. <laughs> it's funny to say that in yeah. three months. Right. But there's clips and tags, but you've got this new section called roles. No, okay. that, that's correct. Now, the way you need to understand roles is that every clip, as it's imported, will be assigned a role. So if you bring something off the camera, it'll be assigned a dialogue role. Audio or video, automatic. Right. If you bring in something from a music library, it'll be assigned a music role or a sound okay. effects library. It'll be assigned a sound effects role. And of course, it's not stuck there. Uh, you can actually change the role if you want. But I'm saying it has to have a role. Okay. okay. Everything has. There's no such thing as no role. That's right. It has every, to have a role. Every every piece has a role to play. Now, okay. here's where it gets really fun and interesting. Let's say I want to find out all my effects. Okay. If I click this effects role here, watch what happens. Everything in the timeline highlights for that for that role. All your so sound I, effects. You can see all my sound effects. Okay. If I want to see music. Click on music. Want to and see all dialogue? See see how this works? I just click, and it actually selects that role. And then once it's selected, if you do something, to, you know, modify this something, it modifies all those because they're all they're all selected. Well, you're not really modifying. It's really a way of essentially doing QC, making sure everything's oh, okay. in the proper okay. everything's in, if the, like you're going to export. Let's say all titles. You yeah, want to make sure that all titles check. are actually, oh, actually wait, included. Not just not just video and audio, but titles. Titles get roles too. Yeah, you can export actually control 
uh, the, the visibility of just titles and export just titles with alpha channels. Wow. It's, we'll get to that in a second. Okay. But, but here's the thing. I'm going to select effects. I want you to see this. Notice it selected this bullet ricochet and the Civil War artillery. All is selected, but I'm looking over here and I said, now that clip right there that I'm, my, my mouse pointer is over, yeah. that should really be an effect, be and an it's effect. not. Okay. And how can I, uh, I can tell what it is? Um, you're going to go to the Modify menu, and you'll see it says um, Assign Roles. And you can see that's Assign Dialog. You see here, it's by yep. default. Well, I can reassign it. It really needs to be an effect because it's connected. It's an effect, so I'm going to choose uh, e and notice the shortcut: Control Option D, Control Option M E. So it's D M and E. Dialog right. music effects. So I'm going to choose effects, and notice now I, I I've reassigned it. So now it's highlighted and it's automatically clued, automatically included with the okay. effects. Okay, and it's see how fast it is. I can. What's happening is that Final Cut Pro is actually organizing by metadata now. It right. tracks are irrelevant because as long as Final Cut Pro knows what it is, it could probably tell you it what it is. It doesn't it matter is. where it is. See, so. What if you want more than just dialogue, music, and effects? It seems like this is very flexible. It it's like very, it's extremely flexible. As a matter of fact, let's let's do something. Uh, let's say I want to export B-roll as a separate entity. I just want okay. B-roll and a separate uh, separate uh, export. Um, I could select this. Well, actually, before I do that, um, go to modify. There's a thing here called edit roles. Yes. You know, you can go in here and let's say under video, you can add an additional role. What's called a sub role. So you select video, and I'm going to click. Select the plus, and I'm going to type in here. Uh, let's see, sub. So what am I doing? B roll. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> B roll. Okay, B roll, and uh, I've got a, I got a sub roll there. Okay, so I click okay. And I notice there's another plus button here. Not not only can you assign a sub roll to but existing roles, you can, roles, add, you can add your own top level as many roles. as you want. As many as you want. Wow. So like for example, maybe you want a roll at the top level. Let's say, let's say like let's say all battle sound effects, or maybe it's a Maybe you want a roll of just like all international music, so you can just okay. say, click it, and boom, you can see all your international oh, rights music. Okay. okay. So yeah, you can do a top level or a sub level. Um, now, I'm gonna click OK, and now to assign this as, a, as the sub role, I just select those two clips, yep. right? Go back up to the Modify menu, uh, assign roles, look at, look at that, B-roll is now right, right up there. there. Just indented right. as a sub role. Uh, okay. so, and I select it, and notice B-roll now shows up in the it index. It's added to the index. So, okay. so you can select it, it says other video, and then it selects everything else. But here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I want you to see this. I have two titles because I have titles for like Spanish distribution and titles for English. And you can see the Spanish titles are on the top. You can see it says El Norte, and this uh -huh. one says El Sur. And underneath it uh, would be the English version. So if I disabled this clip by pre pressing B, you can see that below it is the English There's version. The English version. Okay. Right now, here's what's neat. You can assign these sub roles, so you can create separate sub role titles that can be exported. So if I go up here to modify, I can just say edit roles, which will quickly do that, and click titles, and let's add, look, I already have a Spanish sub role, right. I'm just gonna add an English. English, okay. English, the King English. King, King the King's Queen. English. Yeah, or Spanglish. Okay, so there we are, English. And so now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select these clips, command click, select them, those are the Spanish ones. Well, those are already assigned, you can see, but I, these haven't been assigned, okay. so I'm gonna select the two English uh, titles, go up here, modify, I'm gonna just say assign roles, look at that, oops. English. So now those are assigned as English um, uh, roles. Okay. Sub -roles. And then, so not only for viewing them here, but you can actually export by these roles. Correct. You can actually export. Okay. In fact, what you can do is export them all out as individual stems, or you can export them out as an embedded QuickTime movie. With separate tracks. With in the separate QuickTime tracks movie. and everything, you can hand off to a, a Pro Tools editor or music editor. See this whole notion of like I can't get this out of audio, audio, uh, my professional mixer anymore. Well, that argument has gone away because you can okay. now do that now, and uh, you simply do that uh, in the uh, the share menu, which has changed. It now says export media instead of export movie, right? Because you're right. exporting media now, and you'll get the window that comes up, and here you're, you're going to see the difference. Where it says export, <laughs> look at this. Role is multi-track audio. Separate, separate files, files. video roles as separate files, audio, audio roles as separate files. Wow. And it'll actually export the separate title tracks with Alpha Channel as long as you have ProRes 444 set in your render, send as your output, uh, which would be um, under video codec, make sure you set Apple ProRes 444, and right. then the Alpha, Alpha Channel, channel. Will, will, will explore with it. It's just, it's just really, it's, it's amazing. Great, and the cool thing about it is, not only is it a feature for editors that are used to using a separate party to do their auto sweetening, even for people who don't do that, it's an amazing organizational tool just for working if, if your sandbox is purely within Final Cut Pro 10. So right. it, it sort of serves both of those different constituencies. A absolutely. Great, and Steve. Think, think about how much time you're going to save now exporting all these tracks. It's just a single click. That's all it is. Absolutely great.
<laughs> and was that uh, my <laughs> that's the end of our time yes. okay. Excellent. <laughs> so um, I have a you. training product on Final Cut oh 10. yes you do why don't you tell us about it Final Cut 10 uh, Final Cut Pro of Apple Pro Video Series if you're interested in learning Final Cut Pro it's up on our site you can download it and learn Final Cut Pro 10 rippletraining.com great Steve thank you uh, I'm Mark Spencer your host Steve Martin from Ripple Training thank you for watching MacBreak Studio <laughs>